Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay, and today I'm going to show you how to edit your YouTube video, which is going to help you get an increased average watch time. Now, how could that make sense that you're going to cut your video and get more watch time? Well, if you realize in your analytics, um, one of the things that YouTube watches is how long are people staying on your videos? You may have a thousand videos, and if nobody is stopping and watching them, then YouTube's going to say, well, you know, the audience, that's who we gauge our analytics by, are not watching that person's video. So we're not going to promote them. But if you have a video that keeps getting, that videos that have increased average watch time, then those will be promoted more through the analytics. So everything's a numbers thing um, for Google. They, they can't, nobody's going to sit there and watch your videos and make a human decision whether or not your video is good. It's all has to do are people watching your videos. So I'm going to show you how to find those videos um, that are at the top of your list, whether you think they're good videos or not, people are watching them, and then how you can go in and trim them so that that will increase the average watch time. All right, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go into your YouTube channel account. And once you get in there, you're going to look on the left side of the screen over here. See it? It says analytics. So go ahead and click that. When you click analytics, um, uh, you're going to have all the YouTube videos. I have mine popping up in real time. These are the videos right this minute that are getting, or these, this, I apologize. This view is the last 28 days. So this one right here, um, Hootsuite versus Buffer, I think I even rank like first or second when you, when you Google that um, for it's getting a lot of views. A lot of people are searching for that. They're looking um, for, for that topic. Um, notice a lot of other videos I made on that social media platform topic are getting a lot of views. So I'm going to choose one randomly. Let's look at, how about um, social, I'm going to go down here. I'm just going to pick a different one because some of these I've already trimmed. Um, Sprout social review. I'm going to pick that one. So we're going to go ahead and click it. And when I click it, right here it's going to come up with um, an audience retention view and this is what I want you to look at okay so my average view it's not very good on this video this video is almost 12 minutes long it's only getting an average view of almost five minutes so people are dropping out like halfway through that happens right but what can I do to increase that well notice here on this tail that there's a big, big drop around uh, 10 minutes and 24 seconds, okay? Probably, I know how I do videos at the end. I'm always saying, hey, do you need want to subscribe or um, check out these other videos? Um, at this time, that's where I was putting that. I have since changed it where I say that at the beginning, you know, please subscribe. And then at the end, I wrap it up really fast and it's over. Well, in this video, it's one of my older videos. I had a screen up and I talked for a little bit, okay? So a lot of that is just blah, 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 just like I'm doing now, right? Um, get to the point. Um, a lot of that could be cut off. So let's say for the sake of today that I'm gonna cut my or trim my video to 10 minutes and 24 seconds, okay? So that's what I've decided. Now, before I actually trim, I really go and play the video and get it right to 10 minutes and 24 seconds. And then I listen and I find, okay, where's a really good place to just cut it off? Like at the end of a sentence, you'll find one. And then it might be 10 minutes and 20 seconds, or it might be 10 minutes and 25 seconds, but whatever it is, I'm not going to do that now. But for the sake of today, we're going to trim it at 10 minutes and 24 seconds. So let's go ahead and um, pull up the editor. So right here, see this? little button right here it says editor editors going to pull up that video just like that now this video is taking a little bit of time to download and get in there and get ready for the editor so a couple of my um, buttons may not show up but if you look over here at the top Eventually, I'm going to save right here at this top right-hand corner, but I'm going to scroll down. This is where my video is at right now. It's over 12 minutes long. It actually, it says 11 minutes and 59 seconds, and I think we decided on 1024. We click that down. One of the things that's pretty cool, if you're monetized, ah, I can't get rid of that. There, come around this way. You can add an ad right there 
an ad break in the middle of your video. So if you ju I just got monetized, so I want to share this with anybody else that's new, that if you want to add ads in the middle of your video, this is where you go. Like, I could come in here and add an ad. I can trim my video on either end, and I can also trim out the center. Um, but first, if you're gonna add an ad, you're gonna tell it where do you wanna add the ad. And you just pretty much click add break. And let's say I wanna put it right there. Um, see this blue little mark? That's where the ad's gonna be. Now again, you wanna be strategic. If you're giving a list of five things, you might right after you say the third thing, say, oh, go right into an ad before you get to the end. So be strategic about where you place the ad. I've noticed myself, I will get through an ad because I wanna see what's going to be said. So all of your videos might not be uh, conducive to adding an ad, it might aggravate people. So make sure when you put it in there, there's something that they're waiting for that they wanna see. So they'll watch the ad and then keep watching your video. So be strategic about it. Um, everything doesn't have to be put in there overnight. So that gets put in by doing that. Your video has to be 10 minutes or longer to have an ad. So we had decided to trim this one down to 1024. So we should be okay on this one. So now what I'm gonna do is come over here on the end and I'm gonna um, watch this little, watch this up here. See where it says 11.38? Well, I'm gonna pull this over and I'm bringing it down to 10.24. And about 10.23, 24, there you go. And I'm gonna click, come out, and now I'm gonna hit trim all the way up here. See where it's blue? I'm gonna say trim. Now, anything in the blue box is what stays. So I want to move this blue box on the end over here to where that line is, and then I wanna hit click, okay? So that's gonna stay. I can play this if I want, or I can just go ahead and hit the preview. Once I hit the preview, then if I like what I have, I can go up here, and again, it takes a few minutes to download. I can hit the save button. Um, again, some of you, sometimes that save button comes on really fast. Sometimes it takes a few seconds or a few minutes. Um, once I hit save and I save this shorter video, I don't have to re-upload it or anything like that. All of this editing is happening right in YouTube. So it's pretty cool. Now, Again, it might take a couple days before you actually see the shorter video, but you do the math. If I'm cutting off almost a whole minute of that video, that average of four minutes and 45 seconds may go up to five or six minutes. And you might say, well, that's not a big deal, but it is when you start doing it to all your videos, when you start being strategic and trimming them up so that they're very um, high value of content and not a lot of stuff that you can cut out of it. Now, what if you wanted to put a split in the middle? What if you had a, a video that you were um, doing and maybe right in the middle of it, you didn't realize it, but maybe one of the kids walked behind you and um, photo bombed your video and you, you, you know, kind of were startled and then you just went and talked again or something like that. Or maybe the cat jumped on your keyboard and, and ran off, but something interrupted the video in the middle and you were so close to the end and you thought, oh, I'll just take it out later. Well, you can take it out here. You don't have to take it out on your other program. So let's see what we're going to do. We're going to edit or trim and we can do um, split. We can say split. And then it's going to say, well, where do you want to split? Here's the guy right here. Again, I have to go into my video and figure it out. So I hit split and take this blue bar from the side and you're going to bring it in. Now, I know it looks like I'm making the whole thing shorter, but then take this and pull it in. Now there's my ad, so I definitely don't want to lose that. But there you go. I have two blue boxes and now I hit preview and I go to the top and again, it's gonna take a few minutes to load and then I select save. And I've cut out this center part here that it will not show, it'll be, it'll be cut or trimmed out of my video. Now, some people like to trim the beginning of their video or maybe they um, trim it and they wanna insert their intro. Like some people have a little video that they put there, but there's all kinds of things you can do um, with those little trims and, and things like that, but basically, the reason I wanted to show this to you is so that it can increase your average view time because that's what it's all about. If 
if YouTube sees that your videos are getting watched and people are spending more time, then that's going to give you more view time and then they're going to promote your video. So it all, it's a win, win, win. Your, your audience likes your video, you're getting more view time and YouTube's happy because you're getting more view time. So it all works for everybody. And then you can put get more ads and make more money. All right, there you go. Uh, make sure you subscribe. See, I put it at the end after I just told you I was going to put it at the beginning. See that old habits die hard, but please subscribe and thank you for watching today. And I will see you on the next video. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer.